So this is going to be a longer type of review. I have my notes. I uh, used um, a real notepad and uh, took some notes when I watched Captain Marvel. And I don't understand that uh, the the thought process behind this movie when they uh, were making this movie. Why was this movie even necessary? They could have just perfectly fine have uh, introduced the character after Infinity War, uh, or I mean Endgame. Uh, so here are some of the the notes. Uh, the it was a good intro to the movie. Uh, that's the only thing I can uh, say positively of any part of the movie. And uh, the. In the intro, it doesn't really give insight uh, because when when the powers are given to a character, you're supposed to give context to that, but they don't give uh, the context until later in the movie, which doesn't really make much sense uh, narratively. And so narratively wise, this movie is all over the place, and uh, it is confusing uh, why why they chose to. Uh, show the the flashbacks later in the movie and how she got her powers. Uh, I get that they were going for the for the amnesia uh, gimmick because that's what what it was in this movie. Because Jason Bourne and other movies have done it way better. And uh, what I also uh, wrote down was there was no expression on her face. There was. Um, I can just say this now. She was basically the same from uh, from the start of the movie until the end of the movie, and it doesn't seem like she has a lot of uh, any uh, scenes alone. It, it, she has to be constantly backed up by uh, the cast around her, so they don't give her uh, much uh, much alone time on on uh, on in this movie. So why even? I mean th that's one of the key factors. If if the core character can't be uh, in scenes to alone together, just uh, when you're pondering about things or or more deeper uh, scenes in the movie, then you're in trouble. And this one was uh, figured out later on. So the, her suit has uh, more technology than. Uh, and the entire Earth technology, which was kind of funny, and uh, and her, her um, the the whole mansplaining thing was really freaking irritating. So um, the, the you know why it's called a cockpit, <laughs> and uh, this uh, biker guy says, uh, "Don't you want to smile for me, being a douchebag?" But if that's is so bad. Why is it okay for her to steal his bike and his clothes? That doesn't really make much sense. She she just does this in uh, these uh, things throughout the movie. She just vandalizes stuff and uh, and uh, steals stuff and and it's just okay for some reason. Um, they could have done this more in a humorous way, but. It's just she she breaks the law, and it's just okay. And when uh, when they're in um, in uh, the diner, and um, th there's just so much condescension from um, when when they talk in the car and and uh, uh, in that uh, scene where she bl blasts uh, that. Um, uh, the the music box uh, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but she basically blasted it. and is the the condescension in the entire movie is it's just unbearable when you uh, and and uh, she just has the same expressions she has more expressions in the in the interview with uh, Jimmy Kimmel than she has in the entire movie um. And uh, here I have a note. So they're creating a light speed engine on Earth, which makes no sense whatsoever. 
because if you look at the technology that the Cree and uh, uh, and also the um, uh, the scroll ha uh, scrolls have, the Earth technology is vastly inferior. It's like if uh, we went back to to the Stone Age, uh, trying to trying to uh, create a car uh, with no technology at all. It's basically the best um, uh, comparison I can uh, do it with. Um, so the when it, when it comes to uh, the the dynamic between uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Brie Larson, they have some some minor moments where it's actually works but for the most part it doesn't and here i wrote there's more condescension well this is um goes to when uh, sh uh, nick fury does uh, a lot of things to open a door he basically gets a fingerprint and uh, of of his badge and uh, opens the door and then uh, just moments later she just blasts open a door and she says I, I just wanted to see you uh, uh, succeed or something like that. Uh, even more condescension from her. Uh, so I, I don't even know why why Fury looks up to her when she's constantly talking down to him. And so uh, it was also clear she, she crashed in, in 1989. And uh, Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel because I in my notes I first uh, thought that it was the supreme intelligence but there's no reason why the supreme uh, intelligence uh, looks like uh, Marvel which is a woman for some goddamn reason um, and um, it, uh, it doesn't even make again it doesn't make sense for uh, Marvel she has a spaceship that's ten times more advanced than uh, what um, what what Earth has uh, at the, in the nineties, so it it doesn't really make sense at all. So um, I also noticed she she doesn't uh, show any vulnerability. There's no emotions going on. It's basically just a plank. I put a I put a poll up on my Twitter uh, asking uh, who has more charisma, the the plank from Ed Ed and Eddie or uh, Brie Larson. So far, the plank is winning. Just saying. And the the whole fish uh, out of water concept would have worked if if they could have shown uh, uh, like I I think she's horribly miscast or or the direction of this movie is horrible and narratively wise the the writing is all also all all over the place because they're retconning stuff that has been established in the MCU as canon. And uh, jazz hands are mentioned uh, by by the scroll by Talos. Seems like an SGW argument. And I wrote uh, Maria Rambeau and her daughter uh, are good things uh, in in this movie. And I would also say Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, Jude Law is good from what he gets. He, the, there's it's not much he is given to work with. And yeah, and and so so it uh, it it takes a long time, but they they need Earth technology. It doesn't make uh, sense for uh, for Marvel. It um, again the, that's uh, that's something I wrote down again. There's also something that uh, that was really interesting is that so in in uh, in the flashback it, it shows Captain Marvel cr crash landing with uh, because she's a test pilot and she's not. A quote-unquote real pilot, and she uses this uh, light speed technology, the Captain Marvel, in this uh, test uh, test flight, uh, and they crash because they get attacked uh, by Kree, and the, there's a blue blood uh, when she she crashes, and how does no one in the military understand uh, see that she has blue blood? That's uh, a um, plot hole that is not uh, explained. So, so nobody checked that um, she was an alien. Um, 
and she she got a, uh, it was basically middle of the movie in the second act. She got her powers by shooting the energy core of the ship, which is really freaking lame, because she didn't want um, uh, the her her teacher her uh, lieutenant to to get the the core of the ship, and she got powers by doing it, which is a really lame way to give her powers, to be honest. And then this is the part where it it's really freaking irritating. The, she ch- just gets a change of heart, but again, she doesn't show any vulnerability or 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 motivation or anything b- behind this. She, she basically finds out no, all Kree are evil. Okay, and the scrolls are refugees. Okay, and why does it sh- she change uh, sides? There's no real motivation. I mean, her expressions don't even show uh, emote anything. She's uh, she's supposed to do in the movie, and there's a lot of uh, um, telling and not showing. So there's a lot of uh, exposition and uh, and stuff like that, especially in the second act that's uh, being told. But uh, the, instead of that, it, they should have just showed the stuff instead of telling. Uh, how how great Captain Marvel is and how awesome she was and things like that. It's uh, um, it's it's it just it suffers from uh, not actually showing us uh, the character that is uh, Carol Danvers and uh, the movie suffers from it. And it's shown that uh, the Tesseract is the core of uh, of the ship. Which doesn't really make any sense at all because they found the Tesseract with uh, uh, Captain America, as far as I know, uh, right before Avengers, uh, uh, the first Avengers in 2012. So that's like, what? Uh, that's uh, 17 years after uh, she uh, she was on Earth. That doesn't make any sense. How... Th- it just destroys the narrative the MCU has set up because they 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 were looking for it all this time, and it just doesn't make any sense. And um, the let's see, and uh, it shows in the in the ship that she had a light speed tech uh, or or it was the core of her ship. Doesn't really explain what it was for. It was it's just a MacGuffin at that point. And uh, in in the movie, it's not really explained either. She has a chip inhibitor, which uh, is said to hold her powers back. But it, it doesn't really explain w- what happens if it, it goes off. Does it, does she have to control the powers? Ha- has she had problems controlling her powers? Why did they put it on? And it just seems like oh, uh, her her uh, mentor just put it on because um, he's a dick. That's basically what it, it comes it comes down to. It. And she basically faces the supreme intelligence that is evil. And Nirvana comes on uh, with Come As You Are. But that's like two years after she left Earth. So again, that's a plot hole. That's, um, that's just narratively a, a stupid thing to do. And when she finally gets her inhibitor, her chip off, she does it against Supreme Intelligence. And she just goes Super Saiyan. And... Just like that. And she, she just uh, masters her powers just like that. And uh, I'm just a gro- girl from No Doubt comes on. Like, you can roll your eyes at that. Apparently they they had uh, several different songs they wanted for this. I mean, uh, they could have had a bad reputation, the, the Ronda Rousey theme song. I mean, that would have been a better one. And she's basically a Mary Sue. She she's basically the same from from the beginning to the end, uh, the the same as Ray is, except for for Ray she just awakens her powers which, uh, <laughs> Carol Davenport also does, um, and she she's also like Finn, in uh, 
in The Force Awakens because in in the third act she just blasts Kree all over the place with no remorse. There's no um, there's no conflict in her that says me I have conflict uh, attacking uh, people I used to have as uh, colleagues and friends. But no, we're just gonna kill people without any more remorse. Uh, Ronan is like a bitch. He uh, she she basically closes her fist and she, he runs like a, bi a bitch. Uh, and the the scroll versus Cree war didn't even start. And uh, so uh, the, the they are now relocating or uh, Carol Danvers at the end of the movie is basically relocating the scrolls again but that doesn't make any sense so th they they're basically making everything in reverse of what uh, the Kree versus scroll war was in the, the Marvel comics I don't know m much about it but it, it, they're basically just they're, they're just screwing with the, the canon that was made and Avengers was named after Captain Marvel, and uh, Samuel L. Jackson loses his eye because of uh, he just gets a scratch. But that doesn't even make any sense because in uh, in in the um, uh, other movies he clearly has something around his eye. It's not just an infection. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. And why does everything have to be explained? They could have just let that be. And not explained how he lost his eye, but they did. So you don't, sometimes mystery is just a good thing, but they no. Let's just screw with that as well. Avengers is now named after Carol Avenger Danvers, of course it is. Um, and the, uh, Nick Fury was just so silly, and it just it just destroys his character, in my opinion. Because he goes from just this silly, goofy character to this serious... For, for no reason at all. There's no reason he just becomes so serious. And um, th this is probably the biggest plot hole. Why didn't uh, Nick Fury ask uh, for help at any time before, before at the end, uh, end of the events of uh, Infinity War? Wasn't the invasion of uh, New York uh, f of an alien spe species uh, perhaps important? Wasn't that an emergency? Why didn't he call when uh, Ultron took over the world? Why didn't he call when uh, uh, Hydra was uh, going to take over the world? Why didn't he call before uh, Thanos got the stones? It just doesn't make any sense when you look at it objectively. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.